Welcome to Great Food. If you're looking for a great reason to get out and go on a little mini road trip, head up to Jefferson, Iowa and go to Angie's Tea Garden. It's on the square in Jefferson and I have with me Angie Peterson, mm -hmm. the owner and uh -huh. chef. Yes. And your, her daughter, <laughs> yeah, daughter Allie. Daughter so Allie. thank you. Thank you for driving all the way down yeah. from Jefferson to yeah. do this. This is it's really yeah. nice to have you yeah. here. So what are, you gonna, what are you going to make up for us today? I'm going to make a chocolate tart for you and this is something that we would serve at the tea room. Oh, so great. Um, it's just a nice decadent dessert. So first you start with your crust and I have it in the Cuisinart. I love to make uh, tarts, crusts in the Cuisinart. And so you'd start out with like a cup of flour and then you add a little bit of sugar, about two tablespoons. That's not a lot of sugar. No, nope, that's great. Not so too the much. sugar goes in the filling. Yeah, yeah. it's going to okay. go in the filling. Mm -hmm. it's that's come. great. And then uh, a little bit of shortening. Your, your crust always has uh, fat in it. So mm -hmm. two tablespoons and then four of butter. And then uh, cocoa powder, about a fourth a cup of cocoa powder. Great. And then you just blend that, and it's really nice to make um, crusts in the Cuisinart because they just form up so nice, and it'll form a ball, and you add a little bit of water with the motor running, and it just makes a really nice crust. That sounds great. So, Al, you want to get my crust over there? So when you're done, yeah. ta-da! Yeah, ta <laughs> we have time-lapse photography, yeah. and this is and what it looks like. And it's a very like. forgiving crust. You can, I go around the edges and press it in, and then and use the remainder and press it in the bottom. So you don't have to roll it. A lot of people no. don't like to roll. So I this know. is this if you're is a, intimidated a press, by yeah. a press, this is a great one because you can just press it in. It's very forgiving. That's great. So you have that done, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make the filling. And you start with chocolate. This is about four ounces of chocolate and more butter, I'm sorry oh, to say. No, why not? No, that's <laughs> but a good it makes thing. A big tart, yeah. <laughs> so you melt that down and we're gonna put this in. And then you just, it has pretty simple ingredients. Mm -hmm. That and about a cup of sugar. So put your sugar And there's where the sweetness comes yeah, in, right? Yeah, So sweet. are you using dark chocolate or bittersweet chocolate? You can or? experiment on that. Uh -huh. I usually use a semi-sweet, but you can also use a dark, it's mm -hmm. nice. Or mm -hmm. you could probably even use a milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Depending for on this how recipe. sweet you like your chocolate, that's yeah. right. And three eggs. And then you just kind of whisk in and get it uh, formed up. And it's just kind of like a brownie batter. Oh. Um, you just mix it in. And it's you, making you're nice making chocolate. this look very easy. Yeah. <laughs> this is an easy one for people. I mean, it's pretty good. And, it, and it's just so elegant when it comes out. That's right. And then this is the nice part of this tart is what I like to do is you can add any kind of flavor here. And my favorite is amaretto. Mm, the almond so, flavor yep, liqueur. About a fourth mm -hmm. a cup. And you can experiment with this. You can use like a raspberry liqueur. Or, or cherry or yeah. kirsch. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Raspberry or even orange. And then match up your extract to go with your liqueur. And this is just vanilla. Mm -hmm. And I always go a little heavy on the vanilla, about two, t two teaspoons. Great. So then um, you just mix that in. And then that makes a nice filling. This is something that we would serve at the tea room. Uh, we usually like to serve it with uh, vanilla ice cream, or it's really striking with uh, raspberry sherbet. Oh, mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. Yeah. I, I always love sherbet and something really super rich because it's yeah. just a great contrast. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. So mm -hmm. I have to tell you, I've been to your tea room. Yeah. And, and uh -huh. um, my, I have relatives. My father and mother were both born and raised in Jefferson. Yes. I've spent a lot of time in Jefferson growing yeah. up. Jefferson's a nice I, town. I love Jefferson, uh -huh. so it holds a special place in my mm -hmm. heart. And we have been to you. My mother loved your tea room. Yeah. Yes. And uh -huh. um, uh -huh. we had a family reunion, just a, 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 mm -hmm. a few of us, in your tea room about yes. 10 years ago. Really? Right. Yeah. You've been there quite a while. Yeah, 16 years. 16 here. years. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it so. wasn't, I mean, it was a re it was kind of an after-funeral gathering, yeah. but it was a lovely place uh -huh. to do it. Yeah. But, you know, people think about Jefferson. It's like, what's yes. what's there to do in Jefferson? Mm -hmm. There's actually quite a few we things. We have a lot going on in Jefferson. Sure. We do. Um, there's lots to do. And uh, the Jefferson Chamber can help you with an itinerary. Uh -huh. But we have a, a ladies' dress shop in town. We have a historical furniture shop. Mm -hmm. We have a museum, the Apple Orchard. The Apple Deals yeah, Orchard, that's uh -huh. correct. We and, have a lot going on. Um, you know, the, the bike trail ends in Jefferson. There's yes. a bike trail that mm -hmm. goes, so if you're like, yes. you know, doing that bike trail mm -hmm. thing and you get up there and yeah. you're hungry, it's like, go to the square yeah. and go to go to yes. Angie's Tea Room. It's yep. just on the square. It's such a pretty yep. old brick, right on the town you know, square. What, like an 1890s brick building yeah. or something. Yeah, we have awnings and yeah, yes. It's really, so it's, really yeah. cute. Yep. So. 
Um, and you know, if you overnight in Jefferson, have you guys ever heard about this trailside lodging? Yes. It is the cutest yes. place. At yeah. the end yeah. of the trail, there's uh -huh. the cutest little place to to stay. It's like it's not a bed and breakfast. They just leave you the keys. You go up. It's a uh -huh. lovely room. You pay and you leave. And yeah. it's just really sweet. So uh -huh. I think mm -hmm. people should should take a, a yeah. bike trip to Jefferson, yes. spend the night, and then eat at your tea room and then That's bike right. home. Yes. How's that sound? Yeah, that, that sounds great. That sounds yes. great. So this would be your finish, and you put oh, it in the oven wow. at yeah. 350, and it just comes out. I kind of like to call it like a baked fudge almost. Mm. So uh, we're going to show you how to... Uh, Serve it. That kind of striking. Looks so decadent. Yeah. And good. So, and a little goes a long way. So you can always make a slender slice in the whipped cream. So tell me about some of the things. I know you are, you know, you people yeah. love your desserts. Yeah. But yeah. What, what do you what do you serve for lunch? Well, yeah, we always have a changing weekly menu, mm -hmm. but we always kind of stay with the same format. So we always have a sandwich. We have um, a quiche entree. Mm -hmm. We have a chicken entree, and then we do a salad entree. And um, my daughter's been waitressing, and she's going to school for dietitian. Oh, good, good and for you. And she's putting yeah. in some healthier um, fare for us to try this summer. Oh, good, tell so, us about yeah. that. Um, well, mm -hmm. I just decided. Uh, my mom and I are actually uh, uh, recent uh, weight lossies. We uh, okay. we each lost 50 pounds each a couple years ago. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow, congratulations! Yeah, and that, that big yeah. revelation in our lives. Mm -hmm. I decided to change my major to dietetics, which I'm doing um, mm -hmm. right now at Iowa State University. I'm a senior, so it's almost coming to an end. But um, I've always been, I've, I've been at the tea room just as long as my mom has. Yes. Um, food's very always important the counter to me. When she's little. It's, a huge, <laughs> it's a huge part of my life. And I mm -hmm. just decided, you know, I'm like, mom, this is very important in our lives. So let's bring it, you know, to the people that we serve and give, mm -hmm. the, give them a choice, you know, because I mean, no matter what she makes, it's going to be delicious. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, let's just have, you know, a healthy healthy, light vegetable kind of broth soup, and then, you know, a light um, entree, something different, you know, not just a salad. So bring something different in there, make it exciting, make yes. it fresh, you know, something nice and healthy for people to come enjoy. Because it's yeah. really hard to find healthy food when you go out. It is eat. nearly yes. impossible. Yes. And yeah. sometimes people put like one token thing on the menu that you're yeah. not very excited about. Yeah, it's like, yeah. well, that's the healthy entree. Yeah. I think yeah. I'll have a burger. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to make it easy for people to choose yeah. the healthy yeah. things. Absolutely. Yeah. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's great. But you know, they yeah. have to. They still maybe split I know. this. You have everything to. in moderation. Everything. Yes. I say you know, that too. <laughs> just kind of. And I tell them, let me make dessert, and then you come and have one slice instead of having the cake at home exactly. with you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And it's, hey, yeah. if you're taking my advice and biking there and biking back. Yeah, yeah you can that's have that right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. I just want to point out one other thing I love uh -huh. about your place. Oh, yeah. So many restaurants are going to mugs, and you guys yes. still have the we tea cups. Uh -huh. I just think that's. I mean, that's the way. Yeah. things should be uh -huh. that should be served because mugs yes. are too big everything gets cold before you yeah. drink uh -huh. it this way it's yeah. nice and warm and yeah. so I'm so glad you do that that's just such yeah. a little charm and it is a very charming restaurant yeah so. and yeah. we got a lot of different things we're doing like a drink of the week we're doing a rhubarb lemonade this week oh that sounds yes. great and uh, we're we always have a biscotti of the week flavor mm -hmm. homemade biscotti mm -hmm. and just doing a lot of crepes and different wraps and stuff so mm -hmm. That Our menu is always changing. Well, that's great. I yeah. I say t make a road trip. Maybe ladies yeah. who lunch go up yeah. there. Yeah. I, I just think there's many uh -huh. many reasons to go up and and check it out. And it's a pretty yeah. drive. I've made that yes. drive many mm -hmm. many times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, thank yeah. you again for coming down oh, and seeing us. It's great us. to have you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.